Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another episode of our No Money Spent Squad series, and a lot happened within my team. I changed a ton of things, as you guys can see, starting with the MT, and I'm going to go over every single thing that happened yesterday. Starting with the daily login reward, we do get two tokens today, which I personally am never going to complain about. You can't get enough tokens because First off, if you're looking at the tokens for 1100, right, you're you're gonna be able to get all of these guys. Okay, that's not a question. You're gonna spend 750 getting all those, but then you're going to. I'm gonna still need two more. So then you're you're looking at what a thousand. So realistically, I'm still you know over 600 tokens away from if there was a galaxy opal being able to get one so still a ways away so that's why i will never complain about the tokens if you are new to my channel and have not yet please smash the subscribe button as we're on the road to 35,000 subscribers getting kind of closer and closer day by day i'm gonna kind of show you guys my collection i sold tim duncan yesterday now the crazy thing about it is mine wasn't badged out at all my just the base tim duncan and i got 266,000 mt out of a base tim duncan card now not to say he won't end for that today but i i saw some yesterday uh, quite a few yesterday actually ending for you know 160 170 180 and like this one 184 it might get to 200 and honestly that's what i was hoping i was hoping to get 200 out of tim, du tim duncan but i actually ended up getting 266 so i bought tim probably for 210 a long time ago so i made anywhere from 20 to 30 thousand on tim duncan Next player we're going to go over is, is Pete Maravich, and we're just going to check what Pete sold for. So to be honest with you guys, I was on a filter in which Pete Maravich was a, was was one of the players on the filter. So I lost 10,000 MT because I accidentally sniped a Pete. That's kind of pain if I've ever seen pain. But my the, what my auction sold for yesterday more than made up for it. I think my worthy ended up selling for 130 yesterday, which if you put him up during this time slot, you're probably going to get 130 out of him too because it's like two hours in between this one and the next one. So it's all just about when you put him up. Dunkers, I'm still trying to get a John Wall, but I'm not going to pay over over 250 i'm just not so other than that i didn't really do that much i've sold i sold my page i think i got 120 out of page this one's at 150 which is just absolutely ridiculous for page actually i think i got 130 out of my page and i bought him for 100k so most of these guys i made profit on same things with worthy i actually made profit on all these guys so i can't really complain about whatever they sold for pistol pete i'm kind of upset uh, about what i what i got for him but at the end of the day He's going for a buy now this morning, and, and I got 100K out of him. So to be realistic, I can't really complain about Pistol Pete Maravich. But as far as kind of what I'm looking at with my 1.18, obviously I'm not going out here and gonna I'm not gonna spend 1.2 on Brian. That just it's just not something I'm going to do. I'm just gonna keep saving my MT honestly. And the thing for me is if if during the next because there's gonna be a next market crash. There always is. So you know during the next market crash, whether it's picking up John Wall, whether it's picking up Page. Saving up these these kind of players in case this J.R. Smith is just something different, different. Then then maybe we'll, we'll look towards that. But other than that, I'm fine with my team. When you look at my team right now, I got 1.2 million MT and I have Tracy McGrady. I have a badged out Gilbert Arenas. That's another thing I did. I sold my Gilbert for like 120 unbadged out. Bought this one for 120 completely badged out with the diamond shoe. And do I love Gilbert? I don't. I wouldn't say I love him, but he holds it down. The, the thing I like about Gilbert, right? His badge wise, he's great. Stat wise, he's great. The only thing that holds him back is his release. But if you can green just, you know, let's say even 30% of his shots, then he's he's fine. He's he's literally just fine because he does come with the range extender, comes with a ton of other badges. And I got a badged out one for basically the same price I sold an unbadged one for. And if Gilbert's price rises at all today, then I might look to sell him or if there's a, a, a crazy good time slot. But I'm honestly fine with keeping Agent Zero. I personally don't mind him at all. And, and that's just the truth behind it. I really don't mind Gilbert at all. Is he? Is it? Would I rather have John Wall? Probably. But Gilbert does his thing, and for John Wall's price, I just truly don't think he is worth that much MT, at least right now. Now, when Super Packs come out for JR, that might be a day that in which I look to get JR. But for now, I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. Now, I did get asked this question yesterday, Ty. How do you know it's JR Smith, and what is JR Smith? So. The Dr. J is going to be this season's J.R. Smith. It says mystery player, but it's already been announced that it's J.R. Smith. So that's how we know who that is. Uh, and to be honest with you, a little update on my My Team Limited. I didn't get my, did I not get my tokens for this week? They might have automatically popped up. I don't, 
or wait, it's a it's a diamond consumable pack. That's what it is. I don't know when those rewards get released or, or why I didn't get my diamond consumables pack, but I haven't seen it anywhere yet. And maybe I need to go somewhere to see it. I'm just not quite sure. But as far as kind of the Blake Griffin is concerned, that Blake is the reason I'm not locking in Dave Cowens. And I know a lot of people are like, Todd, Dave Cowens is just as good as Blake, this and that. Listen, Dave Cowens is solid, but his release is the Grant Hill's release of last year. And if I want to be running, if I want to be running kind of a stretch big, I want to be knocked down with that big. So that's kind of where I'm at as far as Blake, 82,000 away. And looking at looking at the Brandon Clark challenges, getting a double double with Brandon Clark in a single game. That's an easy enough challenge to do as long as you go to like a domination game. Applying a contract to any player, hey, free 100 MT. You don't have to say any more. Steph Curry can never get enough contracts. Get a free 100 XP right there. Let's see what else we have to do. Triple threat offline original owners. Oh my gosh. Like, here's the problem that I, here's the thing I struggle with. What did it get? I think I got original owner cards, right? So, like, my Steph Curry should be original owner, right? Yeah. So, like, Steph Curry, I can go into the, to the game with, like, a Steph Curry, whoever else. But the fact that I got to play triple threat offline, the thing is, while I do this triple threat offline challenge, I'm going to try to get, where's he at? Where's he at? I'm going to try to get my, some, some steals with Shea. Like 50 steals here. I'm already at 14. As you guys can see, there is also a challenge for Roy Hibbert. Triple threat offline grabbing rebounds. So we're going to put him in the game and see if I can grab some offensive rebounds with Roy Hibbert. And I'm going to change it up a little bit. I am going to put Rick Fox in the game. And here's why. I just want to verse a lesser team. Like if I could play a bad center in which Roy Hibbert's going to get easy offensive rebounds, that's really my main goal. But I also have to win this game by three or more points. So on every possession, I'm just going to go for a steal with Shea, to be honest with you. Because his the thing with Shea, oh, okay, this is, a good off, this is a good offensive rebound opportunity for Roy. Oh, yeah, Roy. Oh, yeah, Roy, come on, my boy. I need offensive rebounds with you, and that's not going to get it done. The good thing is Roy is running to, like, he is running on the break. I like it. That's free, right, Roy? Okay, Rick Fox, if it, can, can I just grab offensive rebounds with you, maybe? Look at Roy. He's in good position right here. I made the shot. That's tough. I didn't even mean to make it, but it's fine. It's fine. As long as, I mean, I want to get three offensive rebounds in this game as well, but as long as I really just win this game and, and, and get some steals with Shea, that's that's really the, the biggest thing because Shea's steals take forever. That's, that's free, right, Roy? There it is. Look at Roy. That's what I'm talking about from Roy Hibbert right there. Send me a screen. That's fine. I'll live with those types of shots because at the end of the day, Roy Hibbert has a chance to grab a rebound on every one of those shots. And it, all, he's already got one. He only needs he only needs three total. Roy, yes, sir. Look at Roy, man. That's inspirational stuff right there. Can you roll to the hoop? I need one more, Roy. There it is. Three offensive rebounds. That challenge is done. So now all I need, I guess Roy needs, he needs some like points in the paint, I think as well. Uh, so we're, you know, we're going to, we're going to try to, to, to keep moving and grooving with Roy. Shea has like four steals at this point. So we're making some good strides in that, in that, you know, compartment as well. But Roy Hibbert, I think he needed some points. I don't know exactly. I know, I know I got what he needed as far as rebounds. You know, he, he can't get enough rebounds because I still need the rebounds with him. But I do think he had a challenge for some, wow, he got plucked. For some sort of, of points as well. So we'll see after this and make sure what I'm doing is, is useful. But the big thing for Shea is getting his steals. That's that's really it. I'm just going to end the game. I'm just going to run right by him with Shea. And I don't know what other challenges Shea has or honestly Roy Hibbert has. Now, I've had some trouble opening the vault lately. Like, it's it's it almost never opens. I swear they've nerfed kind of how much it opens this year or this season. But... It is what it is. I'm not going to complain too much about it. So as you guys can see, got all of my daily challenges done. Easy challenges to get done. Brandon Clark's double-double is going to be easy at some point today. I'm just going to go and look and see what Brandon Clark's price is right now. I bet it's I bet it's pretty crazy, to be honest with you. Let's see. Brandon Clark. I think he's a gold, but still, I, I feel like it shouldn't be shouldn't be too too much all right so the one thing is the one thing i know is when when challenges come out people love price fixing so he'll go down throughout the course of the day you might be able to get one for 10k right now even maybe to be honest with you yep see it just it just goes way down through the course of today 
and there's not any for under 10k right now but i bet by the time this video is released they'll be under 10k so looking at roy hibbert's challenges he needs rebounds and just points in the paint so i was i was right i i, I needed points in the paint and rebounds and that's just another big xp boost as well as when i do i still need to i got joe so i need to open his packs but the 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 shea the shea gil just steals that's the one that's gonna take the longest but i'm almost halfway done already and that xp is a big boost that's basically one percent of the total xp for blake so that's a it's a big boost as well then just continue to win triple threat online games obviously charlie ward i'm getting close to his steals and then just making two layups in one game and then i got a score with charlie in, in triple threat online but the thousand xp just with charlie ward is super super easy xp and then when i get ronnie it's going to be easy as well so just doing these trip with their online and offline challenges is super super easy when i get sharif there's 2000 xp just with him as well and I got, i'm at 53 out of 100 total wins until sharif comes home so i feel like and then terry rozier obviously i just need eight more total threes with him for his xp i didn't get bird sung but the thing is it's like for a thousand xp to play 20 plus limited games i just didn't think that was really worth it at least for me and what i personally needed but it's kind of a little market update in all in all pick diamonds here as you guys can see stoudemire page page is not normally going to go for that 160 price that was od that the one guy bit all that but the thing is for for t max sake like just looking at how many t max are up today compared to yesterday he is going to become more and more rare so what do, what do I think that means for his price? So let's say, let's say I put him up right now. If I wanted to, I could put my Tracy up right now. And I think, I, I badged him out a little bit. I think with this time slot right here, my T-Mac could probably sell for 400K. I truly do believe it. 40 minutes before, nothing 40 minutes before, as long as somebody doesn't put him up back to back to back, I truly do think he could sell for 400K. Now, I got mine for 250, 253, and, and I'm just gonna hold on to him because I personally like T-Mac quite a bit. But I'm just saying as far as you just work in the market is kind of you got to be strategic with it. You like, for example, you want to you want to buy players when there's a lot of players within that same time spot. So like a Dominic Wilkins, he's a player I want to pick up at some point today. So just looking for, for a time. First of all, the big thing for me is badges on Dominic Wilkins. So if I didn't one that's badged out for you, that's the biggest thing. And then just trying to find one that's that's not super super like alone so for example this one at three hours and 19 minutes it's probably going to sell for a lot even though it's not really badged out too much it's probably going to sell for a lot because there's nothing an hour before or probably an hour after so he's going to sell for quite a bit compared to the other ones but as far as everything else is concerned i'm still looking at john wall because eventually eventually i just want to i want to have josh smith ready not that i'm going to lock him in for sure but i just want to have him ready just in case really in case jr is super super good same thing i might i i probably won't buy a pager back unless his price dips to 100k I, I just don't think it's worth it because this international set nobody wants deadlift shrimp nobody if you want deadlift shrimp i don't i don't understand why and it's not for me to know but the reason i think tracy mcgrady's price is going to go up specifically is because dave cowens is a good lock in player so people are locking in dave cowens and once tracy's locked in and once these packs are officially out like in four days i expect t-max price to go upwards of 400k i truly truly do does that mean to buy one for 300k in stash that's up to you but what i'm saying is mine mine that i i, I was talking about it on stream i knew my price was 250 try to get him for 250 i spent 253 on him i got him and i knew his price was going to rise so it's all just about work in the auction house and you guys might ask how do you have so much mt so when these packs came out i sat on this filter for literally not super long but i sat on this filter for 30 minutes probably made 30,000 mt just by sitting on this amethyst possessed filter do are things always going to pop up no but when they do and you resell them for 5 to 10k profit a piece it is absolutely crazy how much how much mt you can truly make now this this filter is not going to be crazy good now because the packs aren't really here anymore and so and so there's not going to be that many people putting up these players but i'm just what I'm trying to tell you guys is that there's so many different snipe filters that you guys can use. Just be creative with it. When you see new packs drop, don't always go for the for the top-notch, you know, snipe filters, the pink diamonds of the world. 
you can sit here on the amethyst filter and make a ton and ton and ton of mt now there's also many other ways to make mt the majority of my mt hasn't come came from this filter obviously so just learning how to work the auction house is super 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 important so the prize packs today we do have a gold shoe pack as well as as as, as redeeming joe to, to start working on joe's challenges as well now i don't know i don't know exactly what joe's challenges are and that's something i'm gonna go look at here right now and joe joe's a good guy to have just for challenges you know you get xp for grinding his challenges and then joe specifically has some challenges as well so joe you're looking at 650 xp which isn't a ton but it's all super super easy you know you can make two three pointers in a triple threat offline game and that's just play triple threat offline you can score points with him and just work on some other things honestly just chuck threes with joe work on getting rebounds with with um with Roy Hibbert and then you can you can go for Shea steals as well there's just so many challenges you can do work on at once within triple threat or even domination for Dan, for Brandon Clark I might I might try playing a weekly challenge something like that I don't know uh for tokens maybe I, I just or maybe even this possessed challenge because I think you get 100 xp for it I just hate going into domination and I think there's plenty of other ways that you can get this challenge done and find some other rewards with it so I think there is a possession. I think you you get a hundred XP maybe for getting this possession. Yeah, it's, it's a hundred XP, which isn't a ton, but still a hundred XP is better than nothing. I think the is there a flash two challenge as well? Let me see here. Okay, so you get two flash packs for just completing these challenges as well. So this is something else. Honestly, I think the flash packs more rewarding than specifically that one hundred XP. But let's see, is there is yeah the flash two challenge is worth 100 xp as well so we'll see what i end up doing with that i don't i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do but i'm just gonna continue david west i didn't realize i had more challenges for david west i accidentally sold him yesterday and i have more challenges to do so i'm gonna have to buy david west back that's a, that's pain if i've ever seen it i swear i went and looked and saw all the david west challenges done but i i guess i missed out you know i guess i, I, I misread one so I am going to have to buy David West back at some point today. Hopefully his pri his price went up too, it looks like. And that's just, that's, that's it's a shame the fact that I I, I, I sold him when I still could have just stashed him. His price was going to go up. But I'm not going to spend a ton of MT today. Honestly, even on these possessed players, their, their prices are probably going to go down by tomorrow. So uh, with new content, their prices always go down because people are willing to sell players to get the new content to get MT whatever it is so i would be conservative very very conservative with your mt today even tomorrow if we don't get good content wait till friday saturday to, to really especially friday uh try to build your squad back for me i have my team madness coming up as well as other wages so my squad right now is fine my squad overall is fine i, I i'm not going to complain about it now paul pierce in gilbert arenas as well as you know maybe even a clay thompson at the center position if we get a good center center at some point that doesn't have to be locked in even tim duncan i might have to buy a badged out tim duncan like this one right here he will be a good one to have not to say i'm going to get this one but he has half dimer i guess his half badges are trash but i mean he comes with range extender and stuff like that so if i can find a badge out tim duncan probably not today but when when the market crashes just a little bit to try to try to build my squad back up before my team madness uh, my team madness starts this week but this one's got 10 hall of fame badges you guys are wild if you put 10 hall of fame badges on him but i'm not gonna lie box worm and rim protector on tim duncan that is filthy like this tim duncan is filthy no you know he's filthy but one of the last player i'm gonna talk about today before before i'm gonna wrap up this episode is donovan mitchell if i can find a badged out donovan mitchell it's over with that like this one right here he's already at 105 y'all are ridiculous for bidding 105 already i mean i mean already i get he's got every badge in the game and, and every badge he needs but 105 105 y'all are y'all are killing me man y'all are actually killing me but he's another guy i'm gonna look look to probably to probably just try out at that point guard position because a badged out donovan mitchell compared to a badged out gilbert arenas i think i like donovan mitchell just a little bit more. I, I, I truly, truly do. But this one's got two Hall of Famers. If you got half Showtime, I'm buying you. Lob City Finisher, bro. Like, like a lot of these with, with the with the bad. A lot of these that are cheap aren't going to have the badges. And so we'll see. I might put a bid in on this Donovan Mitchell. We'll see with 40 ba some badges. Because if you do the math, 
he spent probably 200 to 300 K badging him out. So it's not, it's not that bad of a price. So we'll just have to see what ends up happening with Donovan Mitchell and then buying Dominic Wilkins back. Those are my two things today that I do want to achieve. We do have another locker code for today. Now, I don't know how long this one is out for. I know it should have, by the time this video gets released, you might have an hour to type it in. I don't know how long. I don't even know if it's available for me. But it is JD Crossover Coach. Shout out JD Crossover, man. So this locker code is for probably more possessed, a chance to get another possessed player. I don't know how many how many different uh, locker codes are going to be. And it's just so tough to get a possessed pack out of these locker codes in general. Honestly, just hope for a non-clutch pack. And as you guys can see, I pulled a clutch pack in which out of these clutch packs, it's almost impossible to pull anything too great. But we'll just see what I pull here. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what the best thing I can pull out of a clutch pack is. Nothing shaking. Can I pull a, a gold range extend or something like that? Justice Winslow, Pascal Siakam. Nothing great, but still within this, you're looking at about 1,500 MT. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.